anti afro Spengalis. I thought I'd let you in on something that is no big surprise. It won't come to any surprise to know that Let Me See Your Handcuffs is a liar. Is that a surprise to you? Well, I thought I'd play this clip from Let Me See Your Handcuffs. And I'm going to come back on here and make sure everyone is reminded of the truth. Stay tuned and I will return. Well, I will say I'm glad uh, you men are speaking out because uh, I don't think we've had some besides Andy Durrell, but they've kind of like done other things. And if you look at her videos, most of like most of her videos, per, I call them personal attack videos. Most of her personal attack videos and the severity of what she does in those videos have been the women in the sector, especially the professional women in the sector. And I'm really surprised that Stargate being over there because she did her, to me, I feel like her and Glory on the worst. And I'm just like, how are you over there being her friend? And she's like, oh, well, she never pretended to be my friend in the first place. But still, that was really disgusting what she did did in that video. You know how she acted, you know, when Tiff P won. It was like a whole freaking eight-hour period of, of different women trying to talk to Stargate about the same issue that she brings right. up all the time. So where did what? she go? Oh, she's going to hang out with somebody who got issues with us, too. That's why I feel like some people are being... being what I call a uh, wannabe flying monkeys, like, you know, the Wicked Witch of witch the West, or they're bandwagoners. They already don't like you for some reason. If they're trolling you, they just don't like you. So now they're using that opportunity that she doesn't like you as an opportunity to go ask you. Because when I saw Too Big for Skinny Jeans saying what he said in Umble King's chat last night, I was like, dude, why are you going up to him? You just be over there in her chat and you telling him to calm down and log off. I'm like, do you tell her to do that? She uh, clips what I say and she sent it to my job. I had to have meetings with my principal. I've had to have meetings with human resources. And they all told me the same thing. Don't talk about her. Don't make no videos. Don't respond to her. Mm -hmm. Sad is that I have to censor myself when I go into a chat because then she'll screenshot it and put it on her thumbnail or video or on her uh, community wall. I feel like when she goes on the attack and says it makes those videos about us, and what has happened in my opinion, in my in my instance, and I kind of see it in other people's instances too. People don't want to come to your chat if they know that she's going to put their comment on a video or on their. Uh, 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 community wall. I've had people tell me, please do not put me in your video. I've had people tell me, I don't want to be a mod on your channel. I've had people who just like, don't come back. It's really sad. It was like, I'm being a real person. This is who I am. I just happen to disagree with how you, how you treat people and what you're doing. And then in this case, because I spoke out, now she's doing that same thing to me. And I just want to shout out the supporters who still stood by me. As I was now being attacked, and some of them started being attacked because they were associated with me. Well, the first thing that comes to mind, or the first question swirling in my head is, what men? What men are speaking out? There are no men speaking out against me, AAS. Who? What we have are some subhuman quasi-life forms that appear to be male, but certainly no men are speaking out and they're congregated in Loserville. There are no men in Loserville. So this is what, let me see your handcuffs is stating makes her feel reassured. Well, right here and now I can tell you nothing's going to change because I'm here posting a video about you. What good did that do? None. So she wants to rehash all her other bullshit lies. Glory on Mary, you owe us a video giving us an update on Gloria Murray's job situation after you later come up there and tell you all kinds of lies on that surviving AAS, what you're not surviving as we can see. You took the videos down. If you survived, why would you not want people to know about that? Show them all your videos where you successfully handled AAS. You scrubbed your channel, your chicken shit. That's what you are. Then you want to get up here and try to lie to all the newbies. Stargate, 
you're the one that considered yourself Stargate's friend. And what did you do? You got the woman up on a panel, let people attack her. You did that. But I can't think of anything worse. How to treat a friend. And you want to talk about mistreatment? What is it you're concerned of anyway regarding what me and Stargate have going on? None of your business. I don't have to explain anything to you. Do you see how she's so upset that she does not have the social skills, any sort of negotiation skills that can broker any sort of agreement to chill? She don't have that capacity. She wants to be able to talk her shit, tell lies, have other people gather together in that demon infused live stream of hers attacking people, talking about people's families, talking about people's children, sexually harassing people. She lets all that go on, but then she wants a truce when people respond. No, you already got out what you wanted to say. We get to speak when we decide we want to speak. You don't decide what we're going to say and when. See, that's the thing that she's unable to handle, just like with the Stargate situation. You talk shit about her and you want her to shut up. No, she doesn't have to shut up. If she wants to jump up here and defend herself, she'll do it. Who are you to tell people they can't defend themselves? You're up here on, where was this? This came from a live stream, Loserville live stream. Who stopped you from talking? You're supposed to be a history teacher, but for some reason you can't quite grasp the first amendment of our constitution, which is freedom of speech. You got it down for yourself, but you try to impose restrictions on others, exercising their free speech rights. You are not a judge. You cannot restrict anyone's free speech. What you need to do is file that lawsuit that you said you were gonna file against me. I'm waiting for you to file this. Doesn't matter what state you file it in. You're a liar and I will prove that to a judge. You scrubbed your channel where you're talking all this shit slandering me and you think I'm going to sit here quietly. Let me tell you something. There was something someone said, she's up here insinuating. The word was insinuating. I A A S insinuating that. Let me see your handcuffs about her weight or no, that's a false statement. I didn't insinuate anything. I said it outright. There was no mincing of words that let me see your handcuffs is fat. What are you talking about? Insinuate. And let me make it very clear to you. Let me see your handcuffs on how many occasions has posted videos doing what specific to me, diagnosing me with mental health disorders. Where did you go to school? What degrees did you get? How many professors sat through one way mirrors and watched your sessions with couples and families and children and certified you as competent to be able to graduate with a degree in marriage and family therapy or any sort of therapy, zero. That training includes diagnosing people. That includes in written form and practical form. Where did you go through that training? How many hours did you get after you graduated where you had to sit here and get 1700 additional hours to sit for a license and take two tests and pass them. Where did you get this training? You don't have it, but you set up here and rendered a mental health diagnosis. Where have you gone into a courtroom and were called as an expert witness to testify on issues of mental health? That has never happened, but you're up here diagnosing me. So here we have you slandering me versus me telling the truth about you that you're fat. You don't stand a chance. It is called free speech. If I want to sit here and say that you're fat, I'll do it. You sit there and you slander me and you think I'm going to be quiet about it. I'm not going to be quiet about it. File your lawsuit. And I will also be telling the judge you filed false report. I'm going to keep saying it because I saw the documents. You filed false reports with CPS. The first documents that came in were redacted. I told Brick and the culture, no, honey, get the unredacted documents. You're going to see the name. See, that's another specialty that I have. Child welfare. 
you can sit here and say, I don't care about kids all you want. We'll file a report on that. Because if I don't care about kids, you damn well better believe they're going to get me up out of here. Covering children's faces. You couldn't pick out those children. What children do you care about? You're up here filing false CPS reports, saying breaking the culture of silence broke her daughter's arm. Your voice is on the recording. Your name is in the reports. You also called the police. You did that. And you also told other people how to do it back in the church sector. But over here, when breaking the culture of silence came over to the Umar Johnson sector, oh, you made damn sure you got on that phone at the behest of Daryl Moore and made those calls. You did that. So take me to court and I will be getting those records. Actually, I have copies of the records. I can bring the records into court and show them what you did. You did that. You are, you're under police investigation. Why are the cops coming to speak to you? Why did the Harris County Sheriff's Department come and speak to you? The police have never spoken to me about my alleged cyberbullying, my gang stalking, my harassment. Where? Never happened. If it did, I'd be sure to come on and tell you about it. The Harris County Sheriff's Department interviewed you because of the shit that you were doing. You were under criminal investigation because you received the documents from Daryl Moore when he worked at the prosecutor's office and got fired. You received those documents by email. You can sit up here and tell the lie all day long. You were under criminal investigation. And when the shit comes down the pike, people are going to see exactly what you've been lying about. You don't rule over me. You will not tell me what I'm going to say. As a matter of fact, you didn't even follow your principal's instructions. You said he told you to stop talking about me and you ran your fat ass up in these chats, still posting comments about me, lying about me and talking shit about me, about Gerald. Who the hell do you think you are to tell anybody they need to be quiet? This is a free country. I will speak on your ass when I good, good and ready. And you're certainly not going to throw any felony probationer up in the mix thinking he's going to tell me what to do when he can't figure out how to keep his sorry ass out of prison or jail. Let me tell you something. Let me see your hand because kiss my ass and go straight to hell. That's where you belong. In fact, that's where you originated from. Who you would be the worst, the most evil person on the planet to call the police and lie on someone. You lied. You lied on breaking the culture of silence. I can't get over that. Claiming you care about our people. You don't care about our people. You were sitting in that board with the woman, the white woman who cared more about George Floyd than you ever did. You were race attacking, breaking the culture of silence while you were sitting on that board. That board you were sitting on, the white lady that ran the board, trying to com organize the community and rally community because of George Floyd's murder. And you're up here race attacking, breaking the culture of silence. Don't make me play that interview with this woman, this white woman who cares more about our people than you do, breaking the culture of silence and a third person. They were talking about the things that you were doing and the woman had some choice words for you and she kicked you off of her board. She didn't want you associated with her. And you're coming up here trying to act like you're some damn victim. You are no victim. You are no victim. I can come here on this channel. I can go anywhere I damn well please and talk about your ass because that's what you're doing to me. If I want to ignore you, I'll ignore you. I did that for how long? I started warning you and ignored me. You ignored everybody and you kept talking shit. So it is your turn to get the work. I'll talk about you whenever I want to talk about you. You can't get anybody to get me to shut up. You try to get dudes to kick my ass and you fail to achieve that. You are treacherous. You're low down and dirty. She said in another video, this has happened to me before and it's happening again. Yes, I know y'all saying it. Pay her no mind. Give her no energy. I've had this happen to me before. It's happening again. I pay her no mind. She is still going to come after me and other people. Stargate is still getting videos made about her. Binary is still getting calls made to his job. Even if I stop, she's going to keep doing it. And then she's going to do it to other people.
How do we stop the harassment? Okay, that's what I want to know. How do we stop the harassment? And those of you who are telling me they are no mind, you don't have your picture up on the goddamn YouTube. And they don't know your real name. We see Stargate face. We see Binary face. They see mine and Nikki. Do y'all not get that part? Oh, people, what is she talking about? She's talking about what she did with King Jives and Miss Miko 100. King Jives and Miss Miko 100. They call each other brother and sister. Everyone knows that. They're that close. They're not related by blood. Everyone knows how close King Jives and Miss Miko 100 are. King Jives is very protective of Miss Miko 100 and you were messing with her. And King Jives told you to knock it off. You pushed King Jives and you wanted him to align with you. Why would he do that? Why would he align against a sister with you? What the hell do you have to offer someone? You are low down and dirty and he knew it. And you kept pushing until King Jives cussed your ass clean out. And Miss Miko 100 was the one who made sure people knew you were a public servant. That is not doxing. Your name is on the internet. If the information is not available to the general public, then you are breaking the law if you violate people's rights and post their personal info. That is what you and Daryl Moore were involved with. That confidential information that you received is not public domain. So yes, Daryl Moore's in a whole heap of trouble and so are you. Quit trying to tell people they're doxing when your information is out there. You've even come over in the Umar Johnson space and told D. Durrell when he was saying your name. Yeah, Kimberly Chandler, you said, yes, my name's Kimberly Chandler. Everybody knows that. I'll play that for the judge. I will play all of this shit for the judge. I want you to go to court. I want you to go and tell lies on me and I'm going to file a sanction motion just like Catherine Brown has coming to her. You are not going to go into a courtroom and tell a single lie on me without me filing a sanctions request on you, which means you're telling deliberate lies. Go for it. Don't let me stand in your way. I'm looking forward to it. Although I know you're playing chicken shit, you're not going to do it. You certainly didn't listen to your principal. You continued to talk shit about me. And you know you did, hopped on panels, and then you wouldn't told, who did you go and tell? Oh, can you please make sure you erase? Did you redo the video and edit me out? Right, edit you out. Because you're impulsive and you know you're in the wrong. So you can keep talking. You can keep saying what you're gonna say. And you can continue making up the lie that I spoke on people in your demon chat who didn't say anything about me. You are the originator of the demon infused live stream of the louse filled live stream. They were congregated in your chat, talking shit about me, talking shit about Gerald, people who support us. They posted comments, what they didn't like that their comments that were talking shit about us were captured. They said something. We have a right to respond if we want to respond. It is a damn lie that we just ran and picked somebody's comment out of the chat and said, oh, we're just going to talk about this person because they're over here. Stop your damn lying. And you know it's a lie because you didn't produce a single name. Produce a name. Who? Who did we talk about? Who did I talk about? They didn't say shit about me. No one except for propane. And it wasn't even a video. I simply repeated King Kong Crazy's comments. I'd hardly call that talking shit about somebody. I'm repeating a statement. I'm not on my own saying, well, this is about propane and I'm going to do a video. Stop your lying. You are a liar acting like you were not rocking with KKC against propane Oakland. You were such a treacherous conniving snake, treacherous backstabbing. And you did the same thing with Daryl Moore and Marcellus. They kicked you to the curb. You did the same thing with Max and vertebrae. He kicked you to the curb. Who else? Did you treat like garbage or try to treat like garbage? If they didn't have self-respect, you would have succeeded. You went after conscious energy. You went after the smoke and they welcomed you in their platforms, gave you a mod stick. 
And how did you act? You stabbed them in the back, but you turn around and you expect them to treat you with respect, all up in their business and everything. This person doesn't have this no sense of awareness, no boundaries. She thinks she has a right to know everything about you and your family and your life and who you're friends with. And all. You have to be extremely bored to be so preoccupied with everybody else's relationships. And you, in the meantime, don't know how to keep any meaningful relationships intact. You squander them all, stabbing people in the back. How you treated Gerald, who was good to you. You are just despicable. And quit bringing up money so people who you give money have to trade their soul. They have to trade in their dignity and self-respect because you gave them money because you and or your friend who you keep, you keep talking about the money that MPW gave people like you gave it. So you're pushing that agenda. Well, people aren't going to go for that. That's why you continue to get your ass cussed out because you don't honestly do not know your place. You think you have a right to impose yourself among every situation and every person and people must act in deference to you. Get a clue. That is not how life works. And if you are so turned up because people are talking about you, why don't you try for a change to quit talking shit about other people? At least I would take some of the heat off you. I know good and damn well, I'm not going to shut up. You talking about me. I reserve the right to talk about you when I want to talk about you. You want a pound of flesh? You're not going to get a pound of flesh from me. I make the first move. If somebody's mistreating me, I'm out of there. You don't have sense enough to do that for yourself. I defended you when I went over to that live stream, the first live stream with the against the law team and they're treating you like shit. You didn't have enough sense to get your ass up out of there. You continued on until they used you and you allowed them to use you. You participated in it. You're a grown ass female. You should know the difference between right and wrong. And you were just so desperate to be associated with someone. King Jives kicked you to the curb because you're messing with Miss Miko. So you decided to be the flunky for Daryl Moore and Marcellus and Roxanne. And look where you all are now being investigated by multiple law enforcement agencies. Those were your actions. Nobody else forced you into doing anything. You did it on your own. You're not ever going to try to put me in the same position that you're in. I have some decency and I have some sense because that's where I was raised. You can talk about me all day long, but you can't saddle me with any criminal behavior. You can't saddle me with any behavior that's going to get me sanctioned. You're not going to force me into doing the things you did. You can't do that. I decide what I'm going to do with my actions, my words, and none of them can get me sanctioned. None of them are going to get anyone to prevail over me in a lawsuit. Why don't you talk to Catherine Brown about that? And it's mighty interesting. You stopped talking about the lawsuit now that me and Gerald and AFW were dismissed. All your funky ass, dirty ass, nasty, filthy friends are on that lawsuit. And you are quiet as a fat ass church rat, not saying anything about it. What's the reason for that? Yeah, I want to ignore that, don't you? But that's okay. We don't need you to report about the lawsuit because we will report on the lawsuit. It doesn't matter what you say. I'm pointing out that you are freaking hypocrite. You're not going to get up here and tell a single lie on me. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to debunk every single lie you say. I get to do that. This is YouTube's platform. If YouTube doesn't want me up here posting videos about you, I won't post videos about you. Get YouTube to shut me down. Why? Because I'm exercising free speech like you're exercising free speech. Forget it. You're the history teacher who thinks free speech applies to individuals and it's not a universal concept. Okay. Oh, makes you wonder what the hell we have going on in our schools. We know what's going on. People who make false CPS reports, people who make false police reports. And she also called the gas company. I'm breaking the culture of silence and said there was a gas leak. Harassing this woman's mother-in-law, 90 year old woman, harassing her, sending her letters. It, what the hell is wrong with you? Plenty is wrong with you. Don't ever compare me to you. Don't ever sit here and say you're being mistreated. You engaged in a lot of shit. I wish we had known before you perped on the AFW. We never asked you to come into our group. We would never have asked you. You just don't 
have the timber to survive here. You survive on lies. And that survival time is very short term as we can all see. Now people, let me tell you, I have a lot more to come. In the meantime, you know the drill, fire, beware.